If your drawing looks messy or unrealistic, then you probably need to take some time to go back and practice the basics. In this video, I'll show you three tips for improving your shading. Hi, I'm Emily from The Pencil Room Online, bringing you quality drawing tips and tutorials. You can check out my more in-depth classes on Skillshare via the link in the description below. I'm going to be using an HB pencil for this exercise you could check out my other video on different pencil grades if you're interested in what the HB means. So my first tip is pencil grip, so the way that you hold your pencil. So this is the way that we traditionally learn how to hold a pencil. We learn this way at school and I can shade okay using my pencil this way. If you've watched other YouTube videos you may sometimes see artists holding their pencil this way with an overhand grip. And this is a really good way to shade because you can control the pressure a little bit more. You can just rest the pencil on the paper, move it back and forth with a nice even steady motion. You can even use a finger as a guide down here if you need to. Some students struggle with this, it's quite an unnatural position if you're used to drawing this way. Another way that you could get the benefits of that overhand shading technique but without changing your grip too much is just to hold the pencil a little bit further up towards the top of the pencil. It gives you a little bit more room to move so you can kind of flick your pencil back and forward and get that rhythm going and get a nice even coating of graphite on the paper. You can see just naturally using those two grips, the overhand grip and holding the pencil further back, I'm getting a much lighter mark. I could get a lighter mark using my pencil this way, but it's a little bit harder to control, I think, because you're pushing down with these two fingers as you hold the pencil. So that's pencil grip. The second tip is pencil pressure. So you choose your grip and then have a practice of controlling the pressure of the pencil. See if you can start off very, very light, drag the pencil away from the mark, and as you do so, get darker and darker by holding down the pencil against the paper. So starting very light and increasing the pressure as you go and you'll see that reflected in the tone of your pencil. We're trying to get a very gradual increase of pressure and a very gradual increase of tone from light to dark. And you could try that with the different grips. This traditional grip, it's a little bit harder to move your hand back because it's stuck on the paper, whereas this way um, you don't have quite so much of your hand pushing against the paper. You could try the overhand grip as well, very very light. And then increasing the pressure. My third tip is pencil movement. So quite often when people shade, they'll use this side to side movement. And that's fine. It's really useful for a flat plane. So if you're drawing, shading a building or a cube, I'm using the pencil slightly on the side so I get that nice soft mark. I could do the same thing with the pencil on its tip. And you see you start to get um, a more linear mark, you get some gaps showing through. It's a bit harder to avoid those. And if you're drawing something that is rounded, like a sphere, or has curves like a person's face, this is going to change the surface. We don't want the surface of a person's face to appear flat. 
So another way you could use your pencil or move your pencil is in very small circles. It takes a little bit of practice to get the pressure even, but nice, small, tight circles together. And that will eliminate those lines or those gaps of white showing through if you keep going back over top of what you've done. Still controlling the pressure so the pencil's just resting on the paper. So you can see that this one appears very soft and even. This one here, it's fairly even, but I've got some parts that are just a little bit darker, some parts where there's some white showing through, and all of that is going to break up that illusion of three-dimensional form that you want to create. So there's my three tips for you. I'd practice your pencil grip, the way that you hold your pencil, the traditional way, holding it overhand with your hand off the page or even just holding it a little bit further back than you normally would. You're resting the, the heel of your hand on the paper but you've got a lot more movement to flick your pencil back and forward. Pencil pressure, trying each one of those grips, starting very very light and then increasing the pressure to get a darker mark. And then the movement of your pencil as you shade. So rather than back and forth, side to side, which is going to create a flat plane, a flat surface, using small circular motions to get a nice, even, balanced tone without any linear marks. If you found these tips useful, please subscribe to this channel so I can bring you more drawing tips and tutorials. You'll find a link in the description below to my more in-depth Skillshare classes, and if you sign up via that link, you'll get two free months membership, cancel anytime. Thanks for joining me and happy drawing. Mm -hmm.